Welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy VI. Last time we picked up Khan, or uh, Cayenne, or Cyan, for those of you who may not have been following along to date. And, let's see. Is that all I got? No, we did something else. I know we did some, uh, we did exploring down into the ancient castle beneath Castle Figaro. Or somewhere in between stops where it can surface. Did not finish the place off, but we did pick up Odin, that sort of thing. And so this time we are off to pick up a couple of our uh, party members. One who we've seen before and one who will be new if we pull it off. So we are back to Narsh. Narshe. Narshi. Take your pick. Have <laughs> we had some place before? Nah, whatever. Nothing left in this town anyway, except for that one lousy Moogle. <gasps> Moogle. Doors are all locked and you'd have to be some kind of treasure hunter to get them open. There goes Lone Wolf. The lock pick, the, the pickpocket. So yeah, so he tells you what needs to happen at some point. No, I didn't mean to attack you. My uh, button, muscle memory for buttons is a little off right now. So yeah, so Khan has the um, Matos, whatever the uh, the relic is that, that splits his attack into four smaller attacks, or slightly weaker rather, and he also has the Genji Glove, so he attacks eight times, four of which have a chance to cast that Wind Spell, because of the sword he's got. So, he's not as strong as he will be, he's still doing okay for now. So our goal here is we need to actually go this way, come to think of it, and go in the back door. Ooh, new monsters. That probably won't last very long. Now we're going in the back door because we are going to where the Moogles are in the cave. Once we get in there, I'm not worried about XP, but at the moment... Okay, well, she's learning Odin. She's staying right where she is. And you're learning Ketsali, which means you'll get a speed bonus, which is fine for now. So, yeah, I'm not too worried if they level up right now. So, we go through the cave. Now, the monsters in this cave have not... Oh, we know they did upgrade. I'm sorry. Whew, been a while. Okay, Razor Gale should be okay here. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Whoa. Sorry, trying to adjust microphone voice distance here for some of the lower voices that don't always pick up as well versus scooting in and getting the giant head. Water scroll, okay. Alright, so let's see. I actually need to ch check my... Uh, Monster list here. We've got a Garm. We now have had both Mag Rotors. Lukavi, we should fight somewhere out in the town, I think. And we got the Test Rider. This is a relatively simple trip into town here, really. But this time we would now be picking up all the chests that are in these caves that we've been skipping to put to this point. Ah, Wizard. We need them. Your magic, silly wizard. Excellent. Alright, what's next for Dom here? What about Fenrir? Okay. There shouldn't be no follow. Follow the sparkly light this time. Nobody took any damage. Not complaining, but... Alright, back to... So 
Take those. Okay. So this should just mean the Lukavi, which are the big free mammoth uh, furball looking things. And that's it for all the for collecting monsters in this area. You don't die, Koopo. Oh, I'm so glad you're alive, Koopo. That was not his original voice, was it? Crud. I'll help you fight, Koopo. Angry Mog. I bet the Yeti will come along too. He'll be a big help, Koopo. He could be a little wild, though, Koopo. He should be here in the mine somewhere. He'll help us if I order him to. Let's go look for him, Koopo. So, now if you examine the spot where he was standing, you get the Malulu's Charm, which is a no-encounters relic, I believe. Okay, um, yeah, so if you have that equipped, you get no random encounters. Fixed encounters, boss fights, that sort of things obviously still happen. But if you really just wanted to abuse this game, you could equip that and go basically do most of the dungeons from here on out up to a certain point. You can go to the final dungeon for a little ways, up until you run into some b the bosses, the first layer of bosses. You can clear out anything you can find. You can go through that big tower we passed. You can go to any place we go from this point forward, clear the place out of treasure, until you get to a point where you would have to fight a boss or something. So, you could really get some really great stuff. I, you know, you don't need to, but if you just really want to do it, you could now. Oh, let's see. So that's clear. Should now be able to now come down and get this chest, which should be... Yes! Another ribbon. Always nice to have those. Okay. And... Okay, so... A couple more chests to check out here. Elixir. Definitely better than anything we would have gotten in their early game. Guard bracelet. Protect and shell. Ah, okay. Oop. She is done with Kate's death. Uh, next up, hey, Katsukoddle. I'm not going to bother with the short name. It's Katsukoddle. Alright. I don't think I need this, but... Now, <clears throat> you cannot uh, get the Yeti on your team unless you have Mog in your party. But I'm not going to swap him in my party just yet. Because there's more to do here first. Now this is the only built house in the whole place, I believe, that's unlocked. There's the Lukavi, and it's a back attack again, of course. Boy.
I guess normal people in the city just don't have to come up this way very often, because good god, that would be annoying to have to go through all the mines every time you wanted to come up here. Alright, now we do have to be a little careful. Because somewhere in these fields is that little dude up there. Oh good, the save point is still here. And the bucket! Excellent! Because we're going to go that... As you might obviously guess, that little dude flitting around there is the next of the eight dragons we are going to attempt to kill. Uh, let's see. Really? Okay, here we go. I might should probably should have adjusted my equipment. Because he can do that. Fortunately, however, I can do this. Which hurts, but isn't horrible. That is, however. Uh, let's see. Things that work on him. Why are you still attacking? I'm doing something. Obviously, fire is going to be the way to go. But I think... Bio? Is there a poison? I'm just going to try bio. You are actually going to cure. You're going to fire up. Nice. I don't, didn't we'll see what her poison did. I was looking at something else. Dang it. Well. That was cool. And he's dead. So, tough fight. Hit him with everything you've got, he goes down. It can be easier if you properly prepare, which I apparently forgot to do at the last minute. I meant to, I think we've got at least one flame shield. Seven dragons remaining. Ice shield. See, that would have helped. Absorbs ice attacks. That might have helped a little. So, stuff like that that I probably should have done but forgot to. Uh, let's see, rays. Just in case we get into a fight or two on the way back to the bucket. We still have one more fight to do before we do anything else. And it's up here. We're going to go visit our good friend, the Frozen Esper. And I say good friend, but he's kind of been a, a thorn in our side the whole game, so. <sighs> okay, now this fight, I know I actually do want to take some steps here because this dude is all about magic. So, I want to do something I don't normally do, but I'm going to give it a try. I don't think he's going to be hitting us with status effects. So we're going to try this. This may be a terrible idea when it comes down to it. Because it makes healing harder because all I have is potions. But 
if it reflects his damage back to him, should be doing okay. Uh, let's see, who would benefit more? Probably you, from that new shield we just got. Yeah! Ooh! Much lower defense, higher magic defense. So for this battle, that one works well. Because, as I said, magic. So, now we finally get a good look at you. Maybe. What's gonna I don't know if that'll bounce off him while he's frozen. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so bouncing off might actually be a bad idea. Is he absorbing? Okay, no, he's not absorbing Fyra. Woo, he no he is not absorbing Fyra. Go Tethys, look at that. See what Khan can do with it. No, no, no. Alright, well. Eventually they'll unfreeze and rejoin the fight. Oh, or that'll happen. See, so the bouncing, yeah, he heals himself if he hits himself with the right spell, but still worth it, I guess. I don't think I've ever bothered to try that before. I just thought I'd give it a try this time. So, humans broke my seal of ice. Humans who possess magicite. Just who are you? I suppose that's a little consequence. But what of this devastation that fills the air? Could the war of the Magi have lasted a thousand years? How long? How does he know how long he's been in there? Has he been awake this whole time just counting? How boring. That foolish, unending war. Hmm. You would, would seek to put an end to it. Then I shall put my trust in you. And suicide. Let's be clear about this. So that we get his his uh, magicite. Slightly disturbing aspect. They just don't really go into after Ramu does it. Anyway, we get the Velagramanda, which in my head, because of the Super Nintendo version, is and will always be Try Talk, because that's what it was, and he teaches you the level 3 spells, so Try 3. Okay, uh, last little bit here. So we're going to jump down, because I don't like doing this next part with Mog. I guess, well, I guess we could. He's strong. He's actually a, a usable character now, so... Just pop out of town. And swap in Mog. Who's the Moogle? That's what Kipapapo translates to, apparently. Okay, um, I really kind of want him at this point. I need him, unfortunately. I'm still not over Mog and the Floating Continent. Um, I think she's going to be the more useful of the two, and this is a tough place, so... And... I think I can get away with using Khan. Yeah. And the unfortunate aspect of the place we're headed is that eh, so many things down in this cave where we're going can turn you into an imp. 
So we do have to... I gotta get rid of the reflect rings anyway, but it's a good thing we have three ribbons, because that makes this a little easier to deal with. Really, a gladius? I wanted to put you in the back row. What do I have for spears? Much worse spear. Crud. Okay, fine. Uh, you're gonna, probably going to be dancing a lot anyway. Okay, so what protects against him? White cape? Yeah, white cape. Alright, that'll work. And... Mysterious Moogle Charm for Mog. Okay, so he's the only one that can wear this. I was afraid of that. I could put it on. You can't. What you can do, and what I have done in the past, because I... My, usually my Mog is really underdeveloped at this point, is I will go down and clear all the stuff out with my regular party, exit, grab Mog, and then go in just for the, the bit that you need him for. Um, that's not a bad tactic if your Mog sucks. Mine's doing okay, though. I don't feel bad about this idea, though. Oh well, uh, let's see. Oh god, do I give him the Master Scroll? No. I'm gonna give him the Hyperist. Okay, you get a ribbon, and you get your ribbon back. Nope, wrong button. Okay, so I'll meet you back at the ice field, because that's where we're headed. So here we are in a fight, and I just selected Mog's new dance, the Snowman Rondo, because this is, I believe, the last area that he can learn something. And so he should have all of his dances now. That's, you know, just like all the rest, you can't control the damn thing he does, so... You better hope for a good one. So we're back up here. Now the there was a peak of the mountain that stuck out up there that collapsed after uh, Valagarman disappeared. So that's where we're headed now. And I really, really dislike this place. Wait a second. I gripe every once in a while about how this version is easier and they change things from the version I played, etc. I know there's holes in the floor, right? There. Those two dots that will drop you down. <sighs> Great. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I still think I, can, I think I can get up there, but I think I can also go in from this side. No, I can't. But I do need a chest. I need to check my uh, uh, monster list here, so make sure I get everything while I'm down here, because I don't want to come back. I do love that lightsaber. green cherry, white cape, so they're giving you things to combat him. There's a reason for that. But I wasn't protected. Very quickly, one of my guys at least would be an imp. Uh, let's see. Con. Yep, let's just keep boosting your strength, buddy. So Tethys is almost done with Odin, which is exciting. 
probably summon some of these more often just to show them off. Okay, this is a pain in the butt fight. Um, okay, what am I in for here? I don't want to do this. I don't like this fight. Now you know it's real. Frickin' Tom Berries. I'm not dancing with you because I will lose all control over the fight at that point. Pick one of you. I think fire is the best bet. Yes. Ow. Control where Phantom Rush goes, but I can control who gets hit with the fire spells. Mm, my con. Good God, her things did not last at all. Can we kill one of them at least before they start killing us with that? Okay, maybe the maybe that's a bad idea. Bye. That slow off the mark there, Mog. Okay, I usually have Callan here with his uh, um, chainsaw doing some decent damage as well. But yeah, I don't like these things. I know this is a bad idea. Just keep hitting him with fire spells. Suppose I could reflect. to rethink this fight. Really, I'm not even going to kill one of them. <sighs> yeah. So they weren't reacting to his blitz. What if we don't cast magic at him? Hitting ridiculously hard. Okay, that's gonna be a problem, I think. Maybe coming back to do these guys later. So I want to see is a physical attack even doing anything here? Well, not if I miss. Not helping me prove a point here, guys. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna come back and do these guys later because they're a, such a pain in the butt and 
I think they've also they also because Tom Berries, these guys are like level 99 if I remember right, and they are really strong and very difficult to beat, much less even get a hit on apparently. And let's see here, do I have? I don't have Libra with him, but anyway, yeah. And so they they just keep advancing, 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 advancing until they one hit kill you later. But they also have a really good steal item. So I may come back here later when I have lock. I need to make a note of that so I don't forget because otherwise I don't want to come back down here. Uh, let's see, so... Yeah, so once I have lock, I will come back and do that off screen. So, bye, Tomberries. Y'all suck. Uh, let's see. I forget if I need. I, th I think I need to drop down at some point. What? Oh, okay. Friggin' squirrels. Damn it! Just throw all my plans, all of his upgrade plans out. All right. Um. That stupid Tonberry fight through it still threw me for a loop. I don't like. I don't like losing. I don't like having to leave it alone. I don't think there's anything. That just takes me back to the other doorway. Let's try what happens when I drop down. Another gauntlet. I thought the one that you get from Bannon was the only one. I forgot about this one entirely. Okay. Uh, where are we going? One Tonberry. Let's. Yeah, let's. This will be fun. Holy crap! Bye! Screw you, Tonberry! Frickin' Tonberries, man.
This one. Okay, good. Okay. So now we get to take on the Yeti. Oh, goody. Okay, can he... I, do I... Am I... Can, I don't think he can turn me into an imp, can he? Okay, but I didn't know there's a nice, relatively easy trick to this. Oh, good, he's already got it equipped, even. Yeah. So this should actually be a, not too bad of a fight. What's with this carving? Looks like bone. The thing stuck in its eye socket. Magicite? Well, yeah. Obtain Midgard Sormer. There's that Yeti who's peeking at us from the caves at various times. There we go. I need him. Phantom, please. And... Where is... Someone's gotta have it. Really? There it is. Yep. And now he's berserk. He is out of a lot of options. So this battle just became ridiculously easy. Since we have our Moogle with us, now we can talk to him afterwards. I'm your boss, Kubo! You're gonna join us, Kubo! A Yeti with a love for bone carvings. Stronger than a Gigas, but a bit unruly. Tomorrow... I mean, it, it's... I an okay name, fine. Maybe it's cultural, and I don't want to strip him of his culture, but... I have named him many things in the past. Harry. Harry and the Hendersons. Um, Snowball. All sorts of other things. For some reason, I t have tended to prefer... Snow fuzz. I don't know why. Other than it's very descriptive. Ooh, me snow fuzz. Yes, boss. Me join you. Snow fuzz. No slouching, Cabell. Ooh, me wait, big flying ship. He's got some serious shoulders. Look at that. It makes Dom's shoulders look tiny. Yeah, sadly, we're gonna leave. I think I missed an enemy in here, but I since I have to come back, I'll pick it up later. Alright, so we are done in Narsh. We now have two new people. Uh, let's... Get out of here. And I'm going to swap my team back around and get ready for our next stop. I believe next time we will be going to Jador, if they will let us in. Um, I don't know what triggers allowing us into the next spot. Uh, I think we're okay for it, but we'll find out. And then after Jador, we will probably pay our first visit to Kefka's Tower. I don't think we're going to be going all the way up, but we'll find out. 
At some point soon, I'm probably going to need to do some grinding because my hit points are really low. My guys are taking a beating on some of these fights, and I need to start learning some of these espers that are going to give us... Now we have level 3 ice, lightning, and fire available through um, Valagarmand, and now we will also have... No, I didn't actually mean to switch him, but anyway. Now we also Quake, Gravija, Tornado, not that I plan on using those, but he also has HP plus 30, so that could help start giving us some more hit points if I leave that one on someone leveling up, which would be nice. Um, yeah, so Valagarmanda, there's my Aga spells, which for some reason... Okay, he was on that one, that's why. It's like, why is he already at 13%? Holy cow, but... Alright, and she should almost be done with Odin. Yeah, okay, a few more battles, so that'll happen really quick. And then I will probably swap Odin over to Celeste to get her going on Meteor. And, yeah, I mean, my guys are only low level 30s. And I desperately need some more hit points, and I'm doing okay on damage output, but not in the not too distant future. I will also need to start uh, doing some grinding against certain monsters anyway. So, yeah, so I'll probably pick up my next two party members, and then that'll probably be next video. And then the next video after that, we may go pick up. Either we'll pick up yet another party member, or we'll do that in the video after that. I don't know yet, so we'll see what happens. So, thank you for joining me anyway. Sorry for the rambling outro here. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you are not already a subscriber. Um, I am enjoying going back through some of these games like this one, that with this um, up, slightly updated graphics in places and a better interface slightly cheating, showing you where the holes in the ground are, and that sort of thing, but, you know, I'm a grumpy old man, I had to walk uphill both ways through the snow to get to school every day, so you kids have it easy. Uh, so anyway, so, like and subscribe, and leave a comment, let me know what you think of the video so far, and if you have any memories of this game you want to share, I'd love to hear them. Thanks a lot, hope everybody's having a great day. Bye.